Nope, not that one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Gold Shelf. Today we're going to be looking at another classified series toy uh, out of the Hasbro company. Uh, this is one figure that I got, uh, I think I got a lot or something or made a trade and he was in the lot. And unfortunately, uh, he's actually missing the hood piece. We can get that on camera, but there's a, an option we could put a hood on. You got that side art right there, which is really, really cool. I really like it. Uh, just a picture of him running up a hill or something or, you know, trying to duck enemy fire. That's really cool. And you got your 60-year uh, anniversary, 1964 to 2024 uh, emblem right there. That's really nice. And then you got a QR code, scan QR code right there on the other side. And you got some more artwork. You got the G.I. Joe Star banner. Then you got like a, a, a cropped photo of him right there. And then in the back, you got some cool shots of a, a cool shot of him uh, holding the, uh, I think that's a saw machine gun. And then the 50 cal is just, plant, it's just planted there on the ground. Then the scenery in the background is really cool, man. Would have been cool if he, he would have came with, the actual, with that actual tent. That would have been awesome. At the top, you got that emblem and that banner, G.I. Joe banner there again. At the bottom, you've got your... Uh, your hazards and whatnot recycles and all that good stuff but let's take a quick break and get them out of the packaging here we got him out of the packaging i gotta say he's loaded with accessories man he's got a buttload of accessories i'm this this is probably like one of the coolest army building f figurines i've ever purchased or had or he does have a backpack which is freaking awesome. You can see the camera is catching that. It's really nice. It's nicely sculpted. It got straps and buckles and whatnot. You got about like four, five, three, six. Man, they got like nine or ten different pouches on there. So that's really cool. I really like this. I'm not sure. I, I think we've gotten this same backpack with Outback or another character. I believe. I'm not too sure. Um, and then he does come with a some kind of sat, some kind of pouch that goes on his stomach or chest. And he comes with another head sculpt, which is awesome. You can, you know, switch it, switch things up and have a diverse, diversified uh, squad. There's another uh, walkie-talkie. I believe it's the same one we've been getting. Uh, Rock and Roll has this one. And then we get another set of uh, pouches right there. Here we got another pouch. And I'm assuming it, they just all mount on his armor. Then you get the tactical helmet. That's really cool which should should just sit on his head nicely perfectly so that's really cool would be amazing would be really really amazing if we had some kind of attachment with the knight with the nod and here i think this is like a this is like a rested hood like i mentioned earlier in the video there's a hood that comes to this guy but i i've yet to locate it and then he comes with another set a pair of hands which are like holding hands and then I think these are the same sculpt yeah so there you go that's really nice and then he does come with his with his AR so that's really cool I really like the the ammo magazine um, that the mag the clip the magazine clip so in the magazine clip comes right off and you can just pop it back on it's a little it's not too snug and it's not too loose either so but you might want to add a piece of uh, tape on there or something just to or you know just squeeze on that and then make it cave in a little so you can just get a, a more secure fit right there and then he does come with a side pistol side arm I don't think the magazine comes off you just slide it out nope this is the same gun that comes with rock and roll I believe I think it's the same one uh, I think so yeah this is this is really good and then you get you get this um, uh, trigger piece holding uh, I guess the handle for I guess you just assemble the M50 I mean that's it, the 50 cal so let's do that right now so it's got it sits on top of uh, some kind of bracket that it just pivots back and forth and you can get some 360 motion in there so that's really nice I'm digging that so you can just move it around or if, I'm assuming you can just play you know take off the the pot tripod on there the base and then you can just park this on top of a concrete wall or something if you have something laying around 
and I don't think we've gotten this gun yet I might I may be mistaken and then it does come with the belt the ammo belt so then you just want to pop this in there peg it in there they both look cool but me personally I, I think I'm digging this one instead this one just looks you know more just looks more tactical looks nicer right it looks more combat ready and then you do got this uh this kind of looks like <laughs> sorry for the references but um this looks like a call of duty gun i think it's the rowl lmg but i might be wrong but this is what that looks like i don't know the right name for this but you guys can uh look into it check it out all right here we got him with all the accessories and pouches on him uh, i took the liberty to just move everything out of here i didn't want to lose anything because there is quite a bit of pieces everywhere before we get into the rest of the figure i wanted to get into the articulation so his head does spin 360 and his arm spin 360 right you can get some pretty good range of motion there you can swing his arm out pretty good that's really nice and then you got uh you got a swivel cut at the bicep tricep double jointed elbow digging that sometimes that top joint does not want to move but he's not giving me a hard time on this one uh, i do get a ankle i mean wrist pivot joint there it spins 360 and you, you can rock it uh does it, does it have a, yeah so you can rock it up and down uh, he does have an ab crunch so you can actually get him to 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 move around even though with all these pouches um applied onto him installed he can still get some good ranges range of motion there he is sitting on a bald hinge uh torso joint so you can just spin that bad boy bald hinge joints at the legs at the upper thigh you got a, a swivel thigh cut spins 360 nice and smooth no pain rubbing nothing crazy double jointed elbows so that's really nice right there wham and then you do have a a shin cut joint right there so that's really cool i'm digging that and then you do have a ankle rocker pivot joint as well spin that 360 nice and easy so this guy stands about six and three eighths somewhere there um i do have some figures i can compare them with these black series behind me they're pretty much about the same height but here he is next to the mcfarlane hazmat suit batman here he is next to another black series figure death trooper uh, this is actually a nice piece and here we have him next to another black series i mean sorry classified serious figure cobra viper so they stand about pretty much the same height i think the cobra viper might even be a little bit slightly taller here we got him next to a strong guy bat figure which i need to complete or find a new head because the one he came with uh is not it's not a eligible for showing right now but that's it for the video hope you've enjoyed don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe drop a comment and catch me on the next one